You listen to MMA Oddsbreaker. I'm Frank Trigg. Today we're talking to Marcus Hicks, who's getting ready to compete against Gilbert Burns, coming up here on Legacy Fighting Championships 33, July 18th. Down there, uh, where is it? Where is actually this fight at? This one, because uh, uh, Legacy's been changing venues quite a bit lately. Where is this fight actually at? Uh, this was in uh, Allen, uh, Allen, Texas, at the Allen Convention Center. Oh, perfect. Okay, good venue. It's a nice spot. Um, you're you're out of uh, Louisville, correct? Out of Louisville, Texas. Yes, sir. So, how far was Louisville away from uh, from uh, Allen? Probably about like 20, 30 minutes. So, you will definitely be the hometown hero. Yeah, I should be. Yeah, I'm more the hometown boy, I believe. Is that going to help or hurt you against Gilbert Burns, being the hometown guy? Uh, I don't think it really uh, makes that much of a difference. I just got to go out there and uh, play my game, and not let him play his. Uh, also, they got me fighting. Marty Usman instead of Gilbert Burns. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's my, my old notes. Yeah, you're fighting Marty Usman. I apologize. Um, uh, Usman, actually, I just I just interviewed him a couple minutes ago. Um, and I'm sorry about that, Marcus. Uh, I, I get all the old notes from, from Mick and from Colin as soon as they dump it out. So, um, On Usman, he, he's, he doesn't seem too concerned or too worried about this, this fight. It's almost like... I don't want to say he thinks it's in the bag because he trains hard and he trains correctly and he goes after it. You know, he's a very hard training camp, obviously training with Black Zillions, but he, he's he's almost like uh, um, not as concerned with your styles and technique. Have you seen anything when you watch tape on him that lets you know that you, you're you going to be able to win this fight relatively easily? I mean, it's gonna, I mean I've got to play my game. I mean, um, you know, I think he's still pretty much uh, fairly new. I mean, he's up and coming, of course. I mean, he's aggressive. I mean, he's tall. I mean, uh, he's long. But uh, I mean, I don't think he's far guys that's going to actually hit him back yet. Right. He's uh, he's four and one, I believe, or five and one, I believe. And and uh, and so he, and you you're ten and three. So you have a lot more experience, and you hit really, really, really hard. So where do you think you're going to catch him? Is it going to be a ground and pound kind of situation with with uh, uh, Usman, or do you think it's going to be a uh, a situation you have to catch him on his feet and catch him coming in? I mean, I think I think I can catch him either way. I think eventually he's going to throw some strike and he's going to shoot. That's what I believe. Okay. I mean, whether he does or doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't matter. But uh, I watched a couple of his fights, and I watched a couple of fights where uh, I thought the guys were a uh, lesser, lesser opponent, and he was winning the fight, but he still chose to take it to the ground. Okay. And... What do you? Feel, how do you feel about fighting over Legacy now? Is it? Do you feel comfortable with with Mick and and, uh, and Colin helping you out, or because you you've kind of bounced around quite a bit? You had a three fight losing streak in WC, uh, Varner, McCullen, and Roller, and then you had a, a, a three fight winning streak just before that against uh, Gomez, uh, Albion, Radcliffe. But before though, before that that six fight deal in WC, you kind of were all over the place. And since the WC lets you go, you, you've kind of bounced a bit a little bit as well. Like this is not your third organization. Um, do you feel comfortable and that you can make Legacy a new home for you? Yeah, I mean, I really do. I mean, I'm grateful for the opportunity. And, uh, I mean, it's going to make, uh, you know, take it one fight at a time and see where this goes and uh, you know, make sure I'm still at that level like I believe that I am. And uh, there was a big gap in there from 2010 when he fought to Anthony Macias and then fought, fought again against Joshua Lee in 2012. What was going on uh, in that in that you know almost two year layoff? Yeah, I mean, I just uh, had a lot of things going on, uh, and I just didn't feel like it was time to uh, actually come back. You know what I mean? Yeah, I and, understand. Uh, you know, now things are kind of, I believe, lined up for me, and uh, don't want to make a make one more run and uh, have fun and enjoy fighting while I got. Well, now there's uh, there there's it's over a two year layoff, if my rec if my notes are correct, since you fought Joshua Lee. Is it the same right. kind of deal that you happened before where you just have a lot of things going on and you're kinda of trying to take your time? Yeah, I mean uh, uh originally I didn't plan to come back until the end of the year until I got a phone call from Colin them and uh thought I'd make the most of the opportunity and uh kinda of while I'm fighting now, I mean, I just opened up my school so I've been focusing on it. But uh I mean I'm excited about this fight and I'm preparing for it. All right, Marcus, thanks for taking a couple of minutes and coming on here with MMA Oddsbreaker. We appreciate it. Good luck.
against uh, Usman. It's going to be a great fight. I can't wait to see it on July 18th on Access Television. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's an honor being interviewed by you, Mr. Trey. Uh, I've always loved uh, watching you compete. Thank you. I appreciate that. We'll talk to you soon, buddy. Yes, sir.